In this video, I'm reviewing your motion design and animation show reels, showing you what little tweaks you can fix to make your work really stand out to clients and get you hired. Alright, let's take a look at this reel from Greg Wilson. Now, I know Greg Wilson a little bit. We've talked on Instagram. I know and like his work. He's a great animator, great designer. So let's see how we can improve a reel of someone that's already really good at their craft. And I'm going to be particularly brutal with Greg because I know he can take it. Ground control to pilot. Ready? All right, great. That was excellent. But there's a few things, definitely a few things we can improve instantly to show off your work a little bit better because your work is so good. You've got such, there's a distinct style. It's very geometric and illustrative and textured, which is awesome. I think it ends really well. This sequence here, Unique New York. It's awesome. I love it. The start though. All right. The, the real intro, it does nothing for you, mate. This is like, it's so geometric and smooth and clean. It's all animated on ones. It doesn't sell your work as I see it in this reel anyway. And I know I said I wouldn't be critiquing any animations, but Greg, come on, mate, look at this. Just put the red rectangle on top. You're not gonna get any of this clipping here. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Um, the editing's really good. You hit the beat a lot of the time, which is awesome, but I think we could just make this faster and tighten it up. We're at a minute. I reckon if we trim this down to 40, 45 seconds and just the best stuff, it's gonna have more impact. I think I've said that for pretty much every reel. Cut it down to 45 seconds and it'll be better. But I think it's true. All right, these are awesome. I love this. Okay, this shot. Get rid of this shot. What's this? Probably the weaker shot in here. It doesn't tell us anything, but what you do, it's a couple of lines and some, you know, crosses coming on. It's not bad, you've animated it well. You've animated these lines and crosses well, but that doesn't sell your skills, Greg. Here, I reckon you could cut like four seconds here of, of these shapes happening here, because I don't really know what it is at all before we get to this, you know, fun moment here. Oh, okay, this part two of the lines and dots. Get rid of this, Greg. It's not your strongest stuff. We've got some plexus looking things over here that we've seen a hundred times before and some text. Easy cut. Put that on the editing room floor. This cup animation is good, I like this. Could maybe speed that up a touch. Oh, also I've noticed you've got a lot of sort of uh, one by one square stuff that you probably Instagram and stuff like that. And you've edited it really well. I only noticed it on here because of these big gaps here. And because this is the second time watching the reel, but I could probably tell that, yeah, this one looks like it was originally a square. And then you've added this texture in the background that matches, that works. Awesomely, you've done it pretty seamlessly. I can hardly tell at all. And you know, I'm probably gonna have to consider that when I make my next reel, because so much of my stuff is done in square. Ah, uh, here. Like this is really awesome, but I reckon you could cut like a, a few frames of the end of this animation and a few frames at the start here. So maybe we start right when this popping happens. So there's not this sort of really slow down section here. That evolves great. That's probably might be the strongest scene. Maybe check that one at the very start. Really strong ending. Here at the end, we've got some simple type. So I think when in doubt, go simple, like like you've done here. But I do think this sort of, you know, this little flower animation and the animation at the start, um, bookending your reel, doesn't quite sell like the awesome stuff that we can see that you're capable of at the beginning here. But Greg, awesome work. Sorry for being so brutal. Please forgive me. And of course, give this a like. Good on you, Greg. Greg, looking back at your other work, all your illustration work, it's awesome here on your website, but something like this, I love this illustration of you. I'm assuming it's you, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. If you put this at the end of your reel, maybe animate a couple of these textures, that would just be awesome way to end it. Just put your name underneath. I want this look sick. You could even do a little bit of animation, just animate the scribble. I don't want to create more work for you, but this stuff is really strong. And I think you should be ending on this stuff to sell yourself because, hey, it's awesome. All right, let's look at this reel from Matthew Warlock. 38 seconds, I like the sound of that. From the beginning.
real good editing to the bait in this one. That was great. Okay, first up, awesome editing to the beat. It didn't outstay its welcome at all. The pace was good and fast. I love that. 40 seconds, perfect timing. There is a few things that stand out that we could definitely improve it. There's a lot of, I'd say, like inconsistency with the shot quality. Some of them are like excellent, and some of them are maybe bringing the quality down a little bit. Let's go through and see what we could improve. I kind of like. I think I kind of like this idea of, you know, revealing your name at the end with this sort of card. It might be a bit of a disadvantage if you know someone um, switches off before they see your name at the end. But, you know, if they switch off before that, they're probably not going to hire you anyway. So I think that's fine. I like the concept. The track, the track is great. Okay, let's take a look through. Really good here. Strong start. I like this one. This animation reminds me of so much work that I used to do when I worked at a company that had a lot of alcohol companies as clients. So much of this pouring overlay and then, you know, white text explaining what's happening. These are great. I love these shots. Lots of texture, lots of attitude. This is one of the shots that stuck out to me as particularly um, weaker than the other ones. I don't think, you know, the, quite the character design is as strong or anywhere nearly as interesting as some of this stuff where you've got awesome type, awesome texture, awesome art and design. This stuff's great. This shot, actually in particular, just a big close up of this dude here and we've got some particles coming out of a D-Link. I'm guessing this is for some really fast internet or something. If I were you, I would, you know, I, I'd lose this shot. It's not. It's not helping. We get a little bit of particles here, but it's kind of a bit, <laughs> bit charred to seeing this dude here. This shot as well. So here we've got our ball bouncing and then revealing this text. So the animation on that ball is really nice, but we don't see it at all. It's too hard. It's too quick. Maybe not it's too quick, but like all we see when we cut is we see this, this footage and then some text. We don't really see any animation. I'd get rid of this one too. This is cool. This is awesome. That's definitely one of the strongest shots. This one, and maybe, I really like how this one comes in. That's great. And this as well. Those are the ones that are attracted me the most. This shot I think is one of the weaker ones as well. Like we've got some you know, cool particles happening, but it just, looks a bit straight out of the box and you know this reveal isn't very exciting you can obviously do some cool particle stuff that we've seen before but i reckon within an hour you could whip up a personal project with particles that looks more interesting than this love how it ends it's really good really good reel if you were to remove all of those shots that i said for you to take out you'd probably be under 30 seconds um so what i would maybe do is wait you know a couple of months make some personal projects or some more client work and just swap out these shots with some of those i'm putting a form in the description where you can submit your own motion graphics work for more review on this channel not just show reels but any motion graphics work you've done you can even include your project files if you'd like me to dig through those and maybe review them on this channel. Help me out by giving it a like and letting me know in the comments whether you'd like to see more of this type of content on the channel, because I'd really like to make it. And of course, this would be in addition to the usual tutorials. Okay, let's get back to the show reels. All right, let's take a look at this one from Juliana Arazo, Mograph and Illustration. 2019, all right, one minute and three seconds. That's not bad as well. That's That leaves us enough time so we can probably chop off, I reckon at least 20 seconds of this already before we started. I'm cutting stuff out. All right, let's take a look. All right.
All right, lots of good work in there. So I think this is great because I think the reel's really good. You've got a lot of great work, but we can cut some things out of here and make this so tight. I reckon at least 20 seconds, we chop this down to a 40 second reel and just use the best stuff that you've got. It's gonna be really good because the main issue here is the pacing. I just think overall, it's a bit too slow. Like at the beginning, got this intro here and it's a really, it's really pretty ambitious animation for an intro. We've got like, what's like, we've got some character animation, some cell animation, and we've got like camera moves as well. So maybe, I know I'd consider maybe in your next reel instead of how long is it before we get into your first shot? We've got 10 seconds. So maybe try it like five seconds, but maybe for those five seconds, just put more work into it. So you can just nail five seconds and then get straight into the work. We don't need 10 seconds to see the name as much as how lovely this is. I really like um, this cell transition here is really good. But that's for your next reel. Don't worry about that now. I do like that we've got a transition into this first animation. We've got our leaves sort of pulling apart and revealing this shot. Now, this shot stands out to me again re-watching it because there's no other 3D work in your reel. This really is the only piece that is like this. Everything else is all textured and illustrative, which, you know, really, I really like. It speaks to me. That's definitely the motion design that I, I relate to the most. And the fact that you put this up straight away first kind of makes me think that you think this is your strongest work and, you know, it looks pretty good. But I think a lot of your other stuff is stronger and seems to be more of what you're about based on just the content of this reel. The start is pretty strong. We've got a couple of these sort of static, like sort of animated illustrations. We've got this one and this one over here. Now, I can definitely understand why you put these in the reel because the illustration's great. You've got some nice cell animated smoke here, which is awesome. Definitely remove the watermarks. You don't need those in the reel. It kind of looks a little bit, a little bit lazy. Like you've just grabbed the file that you uploaded to Instagram. Cause this is really good. This is a really strong illustration. I'd maybe add some movement to it. Maybe either a slow pan or a slow zoom, just something really subtle, just so it doesn't break the flow of the reel. These are good, I like these sort of monkey designs. This part here stood out to me as the weakest, mainly because the design isn't really that strong. I can tell you've got like a really unique design sensibility with everything else. And this just seems like, you know, maybe a little um, cookie cutter. I mean, I know we've all, you know, had to animate things that, you know, don't have the, the best design. And this is, you know, fine, but just not as strong as the other stuff. You can definitely get rid of this. From here on out with the computer, I think that's worth cutting. This is looking pretty fine here. Here, I reckon we can lose the second time this loops. You could cut this a lot earlier, about here. I like this, but yeah, definitely cut that one there. Before the hands come in, we get a nice transition into this, what looks like, I'm gonna say a jet, a jet engine. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks fine. We, whatever it is, we don't need hands. When the hands come in, it just slows it down a bit. I think we can cut and get straight to this next scene. And here, we stay on this for too long as well. Cut that. This is cool. These rotating guys are nice, but we can cut that a little shorter as well. These little bubble gum. I think I called them monkeys earlier. They might not be monkeys. These bubble gum characters. This shot's really good. I would end on this shot. This character design is really nice. It's really sort of peaceful. I think it brings home, you know, what I see is your, your real being about. This nice mix of nice illustrations and animation. It's just really calm and, you know, peaceful. And maybe, yeah, lose this one. End on that other one. And then finish up here. I just think tightening this up, losing some of the weaker projects and making the edits just a little snappier. But otherwise, awesome work, Julia. Really good, I'm liking this. To discover the best ways to learn motion design, I've created a short playlist of videos that I think you'll enjoy if you've made it this far. Please like the video and consider subscribing if you'd like more of these videos every week. I'll see you in the next video.